welcome to a quick play with Sketchpad. As you can see, this is an online free program for you to play. So you just need to go to if you type in Sketchpad up here on your in your address bar, and you'll get to go straight to it. So this lesson is just a very quick intro to playing with digital drawing and a really easy, quick way. Um, to have a go at trying to manipulate things and how tools work, etc., etc. Um, all right, I have here just saved a random image. Okay, just an image off the internet or a photo you've taken, anything you want, any image. Okay, so I'm just going to click on it here, whoops, and drag it and drop it onto my screen so it automatically comes up there. Okay, now I'm just going to expand my screen again so that we can take up the space there okay so I've got my image here I'm going to make it bigger so when you just click on it then you get your little arrows to make it bigger it's not a high res picture because you can tell there there's a little bit of pixelation going on there but that's right now this is just a play I'm literally going to spend a couple of minutes playing showing you a few little tools and what I want you to do um, I would like you to spend a considerable amount longer doing it. So basically that's your choice. Five minutes, yeah, okay. You're going to get average results and I'm going to go, well, they did the activity, didn't really engage and didn't really show me who they are as an artist. Those of you that spend 10, 20, 30 minutes playing with this tool and getting right into it and trying to create something amazing, they're the students that are going to get the marks and wow me. And I'm always looking for that wow factor. All right, so I've just got a protea here, which is just a flower that I, I quite like. And we're just gonna have fun. So there is no actual end result other than I don't want to see the original photo. So you need to cover it up somehow. So use it as your base, like a tracing board, I would say. So up here, if you click on the tool that's just, so if yours might look like that, click on the tools at the top here. And then if you click here, you can change all of the looks of yours. So it might look like that up there. Whatever you, Whatever's in that top little box, you click on it and then you get it down here and you pick which one you want to have, it, have a go at. So let's have a quick play with some of them. So a tile brush. What does a tile brush look like? So these are my colours here. So you can have an outline with no fill or you can have a fill. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So at the moment I've just got an outline. So what's going to happen when I do an outline? Okay, pretty cool. What can I add a different colour? So I might add a darker colour to my fill. Will that work? No, I don't think I can do a darker colour in the tile brush. So basically, all I want you to do, don't like that one, that was a bit funny. So use my undo. Just have a play with some of the tools. Okay, let's have another tool. So Pencil is just a line drawing one. Paintbrush. All right. Oh, this see, this has got a fill and an outline. So if I just do, if you see when I turn it, you can get that. That's the fill color and then the outline. It's a bit of a big, ugly, fat line though. I don't like that. So what I might do is bring my size down. Yeah, that's a bit better. Let's have a look at that. So if I go up and around oh yeah that's pretty cool might do that here might do that here I don't want you to think too much I know I just I want you to put stuff down and see what it does play with the colors all right oh sketchy that's that's a fun one I might do a bit of sketchy using that darker pink color there okay so Let's see what this looks like. Oh, yeah. See, you're sort of tracing the outlines of those leaves there. Go up and around. You get that really cool. Go all the way in there. So just layering. And what I'm going to end up doing is probably covering half the stuff I'm doing here. This is just to get my base on. And then as I play with other tools I'll add more colors Might do a few of these back ones here with that cool brush there we go so you just 
having fun. There's, I don't want you to think about where it's got to end up. I just want you to get used to putting down, putting down colours, playing with some different brush techniques. All right, what's, what's another one? Spirograph, that's fun. Let's change the colour. I'm going to go more into those pinks there, I think. So just a bit of a spin there, a bit of a spin there. A bit of, oh, I can make that a bit smaller, maybe. Oh, that's the line width, the size. Let's play with that. Yeah, let's bring that right back. Okay, so we might just add a bit. Yeah, that's a bit more fun, a bit more controlled. So even though I didn't like those sort of circle ones, we can just sort of draw over the top of them and see what happens in there. So we're adding some good textures. We're adding a bit there. I think that needs to be darker. So let's go a bit darker. And do yeah, some more in there. So as I said, it is just literally about mouse control. Okay. If you're really lucky and you happen to have a stylus, that would be cool and a drawing pad, but most of us aren't that lucky. Or the web one, I like the web one. I think I'm going to go back to the greens for this. We're going to put in a darker green, maybe make it a bit darker. And don't forget your eyedropper. So what your eyedropper does is it collects the colour for you. So if you really want to get that colour there, so now it's that colour. So let's have a look at what that does. Oh, that's pretty dark. You can hardly see that. I might do that here. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's fun. We might do another one up the edge here. So it's just coming out of my, my square there. I think that could look kind of cool. I might, I might build up a bit more so there's less white showing. So you can see I'm just sort of wiggling my mouse around into shapes and just because of the type of tools that we're using, they kind of create it all for us. I might just put a bit in there. So I'm really just sort of linking all that in, building up these layers and these colours. So generally speaking, you would go your dark colours first and then start building up your lighter colours on top. That would probably be when you're creating something the best idea, but we're just having a play to see what happens. I really like that one. That was fun. Okay, so let's have a look at fur. I've just got that pink up there. Made it a bit, yeah, kept it a bit smaller. All right, so I've got a lighter pink. So that's what I said, you know, we've got some darker colours in here. So now think about how we might add some, where we might add some light, some reflection. Really, I'm moving away from a realistic picture here. It's definitely got more of an abstract feel to it. So we'll just have a bit of a play. Um, definitely think I like those green colours a little bit better. Uh, there's lots and lots and lots of different ones. So I want you to just to have fun. I think I'm going to go back onto that web because that was fun. Add some more greens. Let's go for a middle green there. Um, just have some fun building these colours up and seeing where you can take it from your original image. As I said, I don't want you to have a final product in mind. I just want you to have have a bit of an explore and see what you can create. It really, this one really has moved away from what my original image is. Once you've uh, completed or you think you've worked this as far as you can, take a screenshot of it. It does, this program does save them, but just take a screenshot of it and save it because I'd like you to be able to upload what you've done. Thank you.